after the viral zombie drug and zombie virus, people on the internet are curious about the zombie deer disease. A weird, debilitating and highly infectious virus is wreaking havoc on deer across the US. What is it and why are scientists concerned about it? Let us decode it for you. So chronic wasting disease that is zombie deer disease is a disease that affects deer, elk, reindeer, sika deer and moose. The zombie deer disease was first discovered in Colorado in 1967 according to the US Geological Survey. It's caused by misfolded proteins which are called prions that damage the brain and nervous system. An infection like this does not include any genetic information unlike viruses and bacteria that take over host cells. Prions are highly resistant to decontamination and can persist in the environment for years. According to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, chronic wasting illness takes over a deer's neurological system and it's always deadly. They may also lose their fear of people and other predators and display symptoms like drooling, stumbling, poor coordination, sadness, behavioural abnormalities and paralysis. Because of these symptoms, some observers have dubbed it the zombie disease, especially since deer may also spread the illnesses through animal-to-animal -animal contact, particularly through urine and saliva. CWD can take a few years for infected deer to develop outward signs which actually only arise in the later stages of the illness, maybe in the last month or so. But can it spread to humans? The disease has been found in 800 samples of deer, elk and moose across the US as per reports. However, experts are worried that this is a slow-moving disaster. It is deadly with no known treatments or vaccines. The illness has not yet been found to spread to people yet, but it is a danger to deer and elk populations. Epidemiologists say that the absence of a spillover case yet does not mean that it will not happen. The US CDC strongly indicates that humans can be compromised to CWD either through inadequate handling of carcass which could allow blood or spinal and brain substances to enter the body through simple ingestion of flesh since the prime that leads to CWD does not degrade and it remains prone to infections when cooked. Since 1997, the World Health Organization has recommended that it's important to keep agents of all known prion diseases from entering the human food chain and refers to animal studies that suggest a potential risk of CWD to non-human primates like monkeys. These animals get the disease when they come in contact with brain or body fluids from infected deer or elk. So here are the precautions that people can take. The Alliance for Public Wildlife estimated in 2017 that 7,000 to 15,000 CWD infected animals a year were unwittingly being eaten by humans and that the number was expected to increase 20% annually. With the hunting season underway in the US, the US Center for Disease Control and individual states strongly recommend some precautionary measures. To avoid the spread of the disease, do not shoot, handle or eat meat from deer and elk that look sick or are acting strangely or that are found dead. It suggests individuals wear latex or rubber gloves when dressing the animal or handling the meat. Minimize how much you handle the organs of the animal, particularly the brain or spinal cord tissues. Do not use household knives or other kitchen utensils for field dressing.